you don't leave even one. They're going wicked fast. Boy, you thousand miles. Alan, that's a lot. Yeah. And let's take a fun. And let's take a fun fight. Oh, you got one. You got one. Hold up. Good job. You gotta be on it. You wanna have a drink? We crossed the Union River four times on the way up here. These fish came from Penobscot River parents, but we can put them into the Union River. Uh, this is faster flowing, and also the bottom, it's kind of hard to see right now, is covered in gravel, which is exactly what your young fish need in order to survive. Well, we're going to have to add some water to cool this down gradually so you guys can get in there and start dumping water. Well, let me, once you get your fry, yeah, you put them in the river anywhere along this edge. Um, there's a lot of rocks here. Hey, Brianna. Hello. Oh, God, no. You can't go inside. Right. Cheers, Hey, the black flies are out. That's good news. No. The black flies mean that this is a healthy river. You can put the fish in on the edge of this river, which is what river? Union. Don't fall in the water. I don't want to get wet today. Okay. Take turns. Right over. In case I don't want to drop any on the dirt. Yeah, put it right over the bucket so that way we won't. Okay, can you count them? Did they go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like it? Oh, they're right there. They're... See, they blend in really well with the bottom, don't they? Yep. They count on being able to hide so they don't get eaten. You have more in that other cup? Put them in South Kurt, that was really good swim. That's really cool. They're being dumb. We're all working together to try to protect the quality of our watersheds. And you are probably the prime examples of that. So on behalf of all those Native American nations, in the state of Maine, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Thank you for doing a terrific job today. You guys did an awesome job. Yeah, excellent. Awesome. And also for taking care of those fish for all those months, and for all the publicity, for all the teaching that you did for a lot of other people. And as I was talking about before in the classroom, in New England, throughout New England, all the way down to Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Nova Scotia and New Brunswick because they checked in on your uh, website. Okay, you just put your fry in and they're only about an inch long. Uh, I'm sad to say, and I think you already realize it, that some of them are going to be gobbled up by other animals right here. But that's nature's way. It's food supply for other animals. Some of the fish you put in today might survive. They might make it all the way to the ocean. But there's two dams in between here and the ocean that they have to go over. Also, when they come back on the Union River, this is night pass. They have to be captured and trucked around the two dams because there's no way for them to get by those dams. What is that? Other rivers have fish passage 
on the Penobscot River is going to be two dams that are taken out over the next five or ten years, which makes it much easier, easier for migratory species to get up into the, their spawning habitat. They're way past this stage, aren't they? Yeah. The sack fry. Very soon, I would say in another couple of months, but certainly by the end of the summer, your fish, the survivors, if they haven't been taken by a crayfish or a turtle or something like that, are going to look like this. They're going to be right here still. They're going to be called par. Next year, when you're in the next grade, a year from now, let's say one year, actually about a year and a half from now, they're going to look like this. They're going to be about seven inches long. And we're going to call it a what? Right, very good. Those pictures I saw in your classroom, it is smolt. And smolt means that that fish is getting ready to go to the ocean. There are some changes that take place in the gills and the kidneys of the smolt, which allow it to live either in salt water, the ocean, or fresh water. And instinctively, they're going to head for the ocean to feed out there for the next two years. And then after feeding in the North Atlantic Ocean for another two or three years, they're going to come back and look like this. Unless they're gobbled up by a harbor seal or caught by a human. Chances are some of the fish that you put in today are going to survive. When the fish that you put in today come back to spawn four years from now, Thank you all very much. Give yourself a applause. Bye bye, Sam. Wish you good luck. Farewell, Seven. Don't get killed. I'll miss you. Bye, Seven. Bye.